there are two basic approaches to area filling one of them is filling the area through scan lines and the other one is starting from a point inside the polygon and then filling the area till we encounter the boundaries so we are going to study today the area filling technique using the scan line and we'll going to look we are going to look for the scan line algorithm scan line polygon filling algorithm consider this polygon and consider this has to be filled with a specific color so how do we proceed about it so we draw scan lines starting from the top to the bottom we'll consider a scan line in between suppose this scan line and the scan line intersects with the edge of the polygon at point a and it intersects with another edge of the polygon at point b we make a note of these intersections and then alternatively we color it so all the points between a and b will be colored now let me take another diagram a more complex one now this is the scan line the scan line intersects with the four edges at four different points a b c and d now we color the alternate points alternate pair of points so a and b is one pair c and d is another pair this these pairs are formed by the intersection of the uh, scan line to the edges of the polygon and then we color all the points between a and b and c and d so there are other special cases also which we are going to see we'll consider another example before moving on to the special cases suppose uh suppose this is a graph this is the x axis this is the y axis and uh, we are drawing a scan line here so this scan line intersects the various edges at consider this as x equal to 5 then it intersects at x equal to 8 x equal to 12 and x equal to 16 so this is one pair and this is another pair so all the points between x equal to 5 and 8 will be colored with the specific color and all the points between 12 and 16 will also be colored with the specific color you can have a look at the diagram
now when we take this approach a lot of special cases are, uh, come in between and they require special handling so scan line passing through a vertex like if a scan line passing through a vertex intersects two edges, edges at the same point then it's a special case and additional processing may be required for that consider this and consider this as a scan line now at this point can say point b the scan line intersects with this edge and this edge so it is intersecting with two edges at the same time so but what we are calculating is the intersection of the scan line with the edges so there will be point a there will be point b because the scan line is interse intersecting with one edge then there will be again a point b because the scan line is intersecting with this edge and then point c so there will be two fair pairs from a b and b c so this point we have to take two intersections at this point and uh, then we'll make even number of intersections which is a b and b and c so this has to be counted as two intersections we are going to look at another diagram this is point b this is point a at point b the scan line intersects two edges but in this case we'll have to consider b as a single intersection because we only have to color this part so we we have seen two cases and we are going to discuss more about it in the first case we saw where the scan line intersects two edges at a point and that point has to be considered and two intersections have to be considered at that point in another case we saw a similar thing that the scan line is intersecting two edges but this point has to be considered as a single intersection you can have a look at the diagram if we try to deduce something from these two diagrams then we can see that in this diagram suppose diagram 1 both the edges which are intersecting at point b lie on the same side of the scan line and in this diagram the edges which are intersecting at point b lie at different sides of the scan line so we can deduce one thing from this that when the edges lie on the same side of the scan line then the vertex has to be considered as two intersections and in another case when the edges lie on the opposite side of the scan line the vertex has to be considered as one intersection so we can also say that if the intersecting point is the local maxima or the local minima and we considered the end points of the edges then we can consider that vertex as two points and otherwise we can consider it as one point so in the algorithm how how do we resolve this problem that whether to take that point as one uh, intersection or as two intersections so there are various mechanisms we are going to look through it
वन वे टू डू इज टू प्रोसेस द नॉन हॉरिजोंटल एजेस either in the clockwise direction or in the anti clockwise direction so if an edge and the next edge are monoton monotonically increasing or decreasing then we have to consider the vertex the point of intersection as one intersection so consider this case like we had so these are the two edges and this is the point of intersection so when we look at the two edges edge 1 and edge 2 these are monotonically increasing so we'll consider this point as one intersection and if it is not so in this case if the edges reverse their direction then we have to consider this as two intersection points so let us now take this case when we have the two edges either monotonically increasing or decreasing suppose these are the three scan lines so we can say that we have to consider this point as one point of intersection and we have deduced it Okay, we need that this point has to be one point of intersection. So what we can do is we can shorten the lower edge. This way, this point won't be considered as two point of intersections, but it will be considered as one point of intersection. Similarly. if we have something like this then we shorten the lower edge to make this point as a single point of intersection 